We know that for many people, life is changing dramatically. My family is not different. My daughter is now taking her classes online from home because her school is closed. For the rest of the world, that even the most severe situation can be turned around. But the experience of cities and countries that have pushed back this virus give hope and courage to the rest of the world. During this difficult time, it's important to continue looking after your physical and mental health. This will not only help you in the long term. First, eat a healthy and nutritious diet, which helps your immune system to function properly. Second, limit your alcohol consumption and avoid sugary drinks. Third, don't smoke. Smoking can increase your risk of developing severe disease if you become infected with COVID-19. Fourth, exercise. WHO recommends 30 minutes of physical activity a day for adults and one hour a day for children. If your local or national guidelines allow it, go outside for a walk, a run or a ride, and keep a safe distance from others. If you can't leave the house, find an exercise video online, dance to music, do some yoga, or walk up and down the stairs. If you're working at home, make sure you don't sit in the same position for long periods. Get up and take a three minutes break every 30 minutes. Fifth, look after your mental health. It's normal to feel stressed, confused, and scared during a crisis. Talking to people you know and trust can help. Supporting other people in your community can help you as much as it does them. Check on neighbors, family, and friends. Compassion is a medicine. Listen to music, read a book, or play a game. And try not to read or watch too much news if it makes you anxious. Get your information from reliable sources once or twice a day. COVID-19 is taking so much from us, but it's also giving us something special, the opportunity to come together as one humanity, to work together, to learn together, to grow together. I thank you.